watch what happens to your client's attitude. You may very well see them shift from disagreeable to relieved because they're more upset that things are not going well inside their home than you are being inside them. Let's get back to where Don had us. And that is when things are not going well with a call and we get upset about it, how do we get our emotions back in check? And what I was trained to do was to get out of there for a minute. Go take five or 10 minutes, go out to your truck, close yourself off, turn off the phone, turn the AC on maybe if it's in the summertime, try to get yourself comfortable. Close your eyes and say this, I'm not going to allow anything that's already happened on this call to have any effect on the outcome of the call. I didn't make these words up, they were taught to me. I'm not going to allow anything that has already happened on this call to have any effect on the outcome of the call. Take a few deep breaths and then you walk back in there like nothing bad ever happened. Watch what happens to your client's attitude. You may very well see them shift from disagreeable to relieved because they're more upset that things are not going well inside their home than you are being inside their home. You're just upset that you might not make a sale on this deal. They're upset because they're trying to get something and it's not going well. And that can be very, very frustrating. So last time, I'm not going to allow anything that's already happened on this call to have any effect on the outcome of the call. Brush it off, go back in like a new man. Whatever happens, happens. And Don, if you if you feel like there's no way I'm gonna make this sale anyways, what are we supposed to do? Yeah, the, the wasted call that we often hear about is the perfect time to practice. It's the perfect time to say some words or that close or something that you've trained on but you just hadn't quite had the guts to actually say it in front of the customer.